Hello family, I missed you yesterday, but a sister was tired, woo child, I was tired, I could not do it, I could not do it, but I want to say I'm back, and it's time to play catch up, okay, but before we play catch up, I just want to say thank you, and give me some shout outs, or give you all some shout outs to some new family members that dropped by the channel, yes, they dropped by the channel, put in their input in the chat section and and went on about their business but they weighed in on several different videos we were talking about in the present and in the past but we're going to give a shout out to uh evolutionary scorpion jesse brown deborah randall sandra chestnut hey girl linda uh, roberson uh, Nadine Leo, Diane Long, Beatrice Holland, Successful Ladies Live, okay, or Live, however you want to put it, uh, Marilyn, Jackson Blair, uh, is it Jalen Johnson, and Shirley James, uh, or is that Shirley Jones, okay, I think it's Jones, but anyway, wanted to say happy, happy, happy days are here again thank you for coming over stopping over at the house getting acquainted with one another hopefully y'all had a good time hopefully you express yourself okay lovely 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 and don't forget to keep in your prayers rita hopkins she had surgery i think it was two days ago on her back so send love and prayers down in chat for her interact or just keep her in your prayers okay she's family now she's family okay and that's what we do over here we acknowledge we keep people in prayer and we talk shit okay that's what we do that's what families do right okay so basically we're gonna be retouching back on a subject that we had got on well, way on back sometime it was talking about uh snoop Dogg's son coming out here wearing makeup and and uh, women's clothing and earrings and all that stuff stapling himself out there as being a part of the lgbt community or maybe he's transgender maybe he's transitioning over to becoming a lady or he just like to call himself an androgynous person such as prince was okay because we know he got down in them heels but a lot of people say it was because of his height you know, he was kind of short, maybe four something feet, and he wanted to elevate himself a little bit. I could get with it. I could get with it. But he damn sure had a sexy side to him, too. Some people may not think so, but honey, I used to love myself some Prince. And you know he was a great musician, and he could sing, sing his ass off, even if he didn't have no music, okay? And he used to get down there and do them splits like James Brown and slide across that stage, and whoo, Lord have mercy getting hot just talking about it okay <laughs> but in the meantime in between time all this stuff was coming out on snoop Dogg's son cardell and him leaving the football you know leaving college you know not playing football anymore for a college uh program he was at some university he wanted to branch out of that and go into filmmaking as well as or photography as well as uh becoming a model and I'm like, what kind of shit does that sound like? Okay, I understand you don't want to bust up your body and, and, and have injuries towards your head and all this kind of stuff. That You know, that's good. But I'm like, where did the film part come from? Okay. I mean, he's young. He can dip and dab in every type of career or job field he wants. Not saying that. But I'm like, all this controversy was swirling prior to Cordell calling himself out in the public taking pictures of himself or pictures being leaked of himself wearing feminine attire okay because we know snoop Dogg was out there calling gail king everything but child of god uh that miss rice woman sandra rice i think she was some part of the um armed forces she was gonna swirl and get snoop taken care of throwing all these empty blank type of um uh, uh, ass not assaults, but threats, verbal threats toward this lady, Gail King, who's a correspondent journalist over there at CBS or NBC or hell, CNN, one of them, okay? One of the giants out there. And, you know, 
it, he was putting his reputation online by cutting the food like that because he was up there with Martha Stewart. You know, they little cooking show or whatever. You know, I always wonder, fam, did they ever get in the bed with each other? I'm thinking. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're in Hollywood, which is highly weird, you got to do some strange things for some change. You think Snoop Dogg hit that? Do you think Snoop Dogg hit Martha? Girl, that would be something to talk about, ain't it? Well, we can talk about it. Get down in them comments. Let me know. Do y'all think he hit Martha? That's why they so close and he always hit. Digging up on her. Hell, he probably hit uh, Gail King as well as um, Oprah Winfrey. Because, you know, they're part of the same club, that elite club, that Illuminati club. Hell, Prince was too. Just about everybody who made it pretty much big and, and called themselves uh, being superstars and living a superstar life. Just think about some of the clothing they wear, the, their video setups, their backgrounds and their videos, them hand signals they be throwing up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just redo your research and then you'll come to some type of conclusion where you'll understand what I'm talking about. That, Like I said, those who see, see. Those who hear, hear. Okay? Wake up. Everybody's not a part of the sheep bearing community. All right? But yeah, he said in his article for when I was hearing, and we're going to go to the article, that he was trying to be like Prince and Rich, Rich James because they showed their androgynous side. And I was like, okay, I can get with that. Prince did a lot. You know, you could come, you know, he had wore some feminine stuff, you know, that he go in his little uh, heels, boots, or whatever. They never were heels. You see what I'm saying? They were boots. But, you know, he always had that side to him where he loved the lace. He loved looking feminine, giving you that distinguished type look where you couldn't tell whether he was a male or a female. I believe Snoop Dogg he did. I think he liked that old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but then you gotta wonder what does Cordell girlfriend think about that? That's her. That one he got the baby by. Mm-hmm. And you see, he has to still have to wear that attire, that Egyptian stuff. Look up uh rituals and Egyptian wear and so you'll see what I'm talking about. The pyramid, the eye. Uh, I'll see an eye of Horace and stuff of that nature. But he went on to say, meaning Cordell, that uh, he liked the Prince because Prince wasn't scared of showing his feminine side or his uh, male side. And then I'm thinking, well, did Snoop Dogg do all this threatening and stuff to take the pressure off of his son having to have to come out and, you know, be looked upon as an androgynous person. See, um, Prince had did some pictures and photography and maybe he wanted to be a little model too. And uh, like I said, that casting couch wasn't just for women. <laughs> hey, the casting couch, say it again, was not just for women. So, uh, yeah, Cordell called himself, uh, I think it's a coming out period for Cordell. But they were trying to have all this massive stuff where uh, Gail King and, and Oprah and, you know, Lisa Liz, I think. That's just my conspiracy. That they all just came up with this whole thing on Kobe Bryant's death. And, and not the death that it was you know, made up or anything, because we know he actually died, okay, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, but uh, we don't know how these Hollywood people get down, we really, really don't, but just circling all of that and making, you know, because they even said, uh, just sidebar, Dr. Dre was kind of funny too, that's what they say, him. they said, uh, Chris John was just there too, remember him and Tupac in that situation, yes, Lord, they tried to put Michael Jackson in that situation, but they never could catch him, it was always into windows and, you know, rumors and stuff, but never could catch them. But, yeah, and at three, these numbers, these symbolisms with these numbers, they try to, you know, be up there. Just read about the Baphomet, the Bohemian Grove, okay, people? We don't need to say that much. Just do your research. But for this young man to be coming out doing this, I wonder is Snoop Dogg, having a sacrificial uh treating his son as a sacrificial lamb to get something he wants and he has to have his son come out looking like that or is his son wanting something in hollywood and he has to come do what he got to do but i was just saying the smoke screen around kobe's death you know how everybody was going in to the 
infraction or infidelity he had made against his wife Vanessa and the whole thing of Gail calling herself interviewing Lisa Leslie and you know them talking about a delicate issue that could have been you know expressed sometime down the road maybe four or six months later after Kobe's death it hadn't been like right on the spot like that but Gail chose her time and, and place of when she wanted to do something because you know all of them in that club I'm telling you all of them in that club one hand watches the other and if it means to get somebody out there and shade some of the attention uh and have another salacious story going on you don't know which one to partake of so it's going to split the eyes and the ears of what people want to watch so of course you know a lot of people was watching you know Snoop Dogg make all these empty idle threats towards Gil King when he wasn't going to do anything and it was just like a celebration coming out or a celebration party for his son being inducted into another realm of life and living okay that's just my speculation now because y'all can go deep with me we can go on down that rabbit hole all right but you know i need y'all to think about this situation what do y'all think with all those things uh that were happening with gail king and snoop dogg and oprah jumping in it and uh that sandra rice woman uh, and the military forces was it just a scam to not put so much pressure on this young man having to have to come out uh and do his little ritual passage to get some more things for a little small piece of his uh identity being tarnished being humiliated i call it humili humiliation ritual what i'm saying i don't know okay i don't know this is my speculation okay uh i don't think anything is done in the celebrity realm just by coincidences i guess that's what i'm trying to say but anyway we're gonna go on into this article we're gonna tear it too long okay uh about this story because it's more so if you believe in conspiracy theories if you connect the dots if you stop being a sheep and you start thinking objectively and subjectively to things that are happening out in society you will be open to another way of how the world really gets down okay but anyway we're going to go into this article that was written by a magazine vlog site never really heard of them but it seems like everybody's uh picking and choosing to become their own entertainment juncture and how people take a part of their stories in the uh journalism world but they call themselves urban islands dot com urban out however you know we spell it u r b a n islands i s l a n d z dot com okay look them up and um you'll see what i'm talking about but anyway the article goes in let's see if we had okay we had uh a person a journalist correspondent over there at urban islands uh her name is sasha star the article was put out on the 17th of this month. She titled it Snoop Dogg's son Cordell wears women clothing and makeup responds to critics. So we're getting the side of Cordell uh, brought us giving us a, a earful of what he felt he was doing when he made that display of wearing and being photographed women clothing and stuff so let's go on and see what he got to say all right it says snoop dogg's son cordell broadus is embracing his androgyny and he doesn't care what the haters think I'm like, why are you calling people haters? You know, we some people are open to that effect that you want to be that way. You feel you need to be that way. Ain't nobody always hating. We just trying to figure out what you're doing, Cordell. Either you part of the LGBT community. Don't serve them for your interests and then confess later on. Oh, no, I wasn't doing it for them. I, I was just making a, a political statement or a socialism type of statement. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you're going to have a lot of people coming after you, young man, and, and hating on you. Was trying to use their platform or their way of living that people tend to do hate crimes against. So, uh watch yourself cordell don't be using a community to serve your purpose and then you 86 them when you're done okay but anyway that was just my sidebar going back to the article it says gone are the days when men and women could only wear certain things we're currently uh live in a world where women can rock suit pants or they should have said pants suits and if men want to don dresses then more power to them 
This was clearly demonstrated at the 2020 Academy Awards when Tony, Emmy, and Grammy Award winners Billy Porter wore a top and a skirt combo while presenting on the red carpet. Now, just my side, boy. To me, it's just to confuse the masses. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like our society want to turn women into men and men into women. And that is tearing the whole fabric of our society. You see what I'm saying? And it can go on back if you take it all the way back to the feminine act you know where we kind of took over and said uh we could do just about as just about anything if not better a man can do now i'm gonna tell you i ride so far with that situation because i was fine with the man going out there being a provider and i'm being a nurturer and uh assist him uh in lower levels of doing stuff you know we let him go out there and, and make that bread you know what i'm saying and bring it home so we could fry it up in a pan because i'm here watching the children uh building a family with some good morals and um uh, compassion for you know society and for the uh institution of marriage itself but like i said i said in previous um interview not interviews but uh videos that the fabric of marriage or what we think is just uh, is gone in a sense okay because you got same sex partnerships out there and they want and they feel they deserve the same thing and i'm like okay do your thing but even same sex people are cheating on same sex people so it's like what the hell is going on don't nobody care about marriage whether it's between a man and a woman or a male on a male or a female on a female what the hell is going on people just want to be single and swinging out there swinging swinging laying it up dropping it low spreading it wide they don't care i mean i just don't understand help me family i'm trying to understand it's almost like the sinful nature is just taking over forget it i'm gonna screw you then i'm gonna screw your best friend then i'm gonna go over there and screw your wife and ain't nothing you can do about it and vice versa you see what i'm saying it's just like there's no more morality on no this is my woman this is my man or this is my man on my man or this is my woman on my woman and no you cannot have her you know what i'm saying oh you can't have him well you know y'all know where i'm going with it but, I, you know, it's just, it's weird. It's, it's very weird. Like, what kind of world are we living in when there's no structure? I mean, I'm like, give structure to where it needs to be given. Meaning everybody should be able to love who they want to love, whatnot. But, hell, give us some structure. When does the infidelity shit stop? That's what I want to know. Or separate us up from the people that want to be faithful to their partners. To the ones that don't want to be faithful. Have a community for them so we'll know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that was just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it said the latest individual to break gender clothing stereotypes is Cordell Broaddus. The 22-year-old is Snoop Dogg's second eldest child, born to him and his wife, Shantae Taylor, who was his high school sweetheart. The pair, who were originally married in 97, filed for divorce in 2004, but renewed their vows four years later and have been together ever since. Now, my sidebar, I don't think they happy. I just think uh, Shantae felt like she invested a lot in Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg came up a lot, doing a lot of strange things for some change, okay? Even probably getting popped in the butt. Yeah, I said it because, you know, he's floating around a lot of people that are questionable. But like I said, in Hollywood, it ain't the casting couch. It's just not for the women trying to get roles, okay? It is for the men as well. All right, but anyway, that was just my sidebar, my opinion, okay? My speculation. All of this is alleged, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it said Cordell played football for UCLA after being awarded a scholarship due to his playing receiver and defensive back in high school and making a 2014 Nevada State Championship team. He claimed that he had only chosen to pursue the sport as a means to gain his father's love. Now, sidebar, that's what a lot of kids do. Their parents pushed them so hard in their formative years, meaning their grade school years, like uh, five years old to probably 12. Then they go to middle school or straight to high school. In the 80s, you, you left grade school and went straight to high school. But, you know, you have that in-between time where puberty, puberty, puberty hits and it's between the stages of let me see 12 and 14 15 and then you know 16 you start really getting into the groove of trying to be an adult about certain things and and you know thinking as an adult in some ways uh, and you know you just have that 
pleasing part that you want to please and 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 honor and do whatever your parents want you to do and you want them to be proud of you and you know snoop dogg is a very heavy fan in the sports arena and you know by having you know two sons like they were he wanted to expose them to that type of life thinking they wanted that type of life but it seems like cordell had other plans but he was just pleasing his dad uh and and reaching out for his dad's love because he know that's where if snoop wasn't on the road touring doing his music thing the other time he would do something to relax was watch sports okay so i get it got it good but parents need not to do that to their kids let them explore what they think they need to do so they won't come back to you later on talking about well i did this for you i didn't want to do this you made me do you know all this shit your kids be talking okay so sometimes parents we do have to fall back once we don't got them through high school or midway through high school start letting them tell you what they want to do with their lives and be somewhat understanding and grounding for them uh but yeah that was just my sidebar moving on from there it said um wait a minute okay to gain his father's love that's why he went and chose sports to uh well he dedicated himself to sports and being uh, a true lover of it because of his father not necessarily what he felt about the sport okay that was just my sidebar but going back to the article it said he added that after a decade he realized that snoop dogg the infamous uh, infamous og gangster rapper loved his son the person it took me 12 years to realize he loves cordell broadest the person not cordell broadest the football player he said the i want to thank me rapper son decision to put his football playing aspirations aside in 2016 in order to follow other passions meant that he has found himself amongst the world of modeling having secured his debut gig for mce worldwide two years ago and i'm like okay yeah i'm sure snoop Dogg has something to do with that but when you have parents who has affluence they know people that know people that know people and you get a leg up so yes when you're in that realm that circle of celebrity ship you definitely should uh try to be the best person you can don't try to um what do you call it compromise on your moral your morals and the things that you feel passionate about just to get to that next level ain't no sense of selling your soul out there okay and then burn the rest of your life in hell i'm just saying that's just my style but please don't get on me about religion that's just how i feel okay but going back to the article it said cordell's latest shoot has led to many displays of homophobia online due to the modeling of wearing items that are deemed to be emasculating such as earrings eyeliner and pink clothing now of course the earrings that cordell is sporting i mean they have a flower on them i'm talking about these like girly girl earrings these ain't like the little hoops or the little studs and you know type of that thing oh you know what i'm saying these are really girly girl things so i'm kind of thinking to myself damn you want to be a girl you know what's up with that they got somewhat androgynous type of jewelry you can wear but you full blown out with the pink and all that i don't know i don't know cordell but anyway like i said it could just be a passage of rituals he has to go through uh for the elite to pay any attention to him so he kind of has to demasculate himself but anyway that's just my sidebar not in this article uh but going back to the article it said i was embodying or embodying a role that shit was on masculinity and i channeled my inner prince i channeled my inner rick james and i don't understand it whenever other artists that are not black wear makeup paint their nails or put eyeliner on society doesn't put a label on them cordell said on his instagram story brought us added that an artist as an artist he doesn't follow the rules that society imposes, nor does he listen to unsolicited opinions you keep doing you mr broadest and i'm like you know okay i kind of feel some kind of way about that okay because what i feel about that is damn be yourself if you feel like you want to sport women and men clothes then okay don't say it's fashion if that's how you necessarily feel that's how you necessarily feel come on all the way out you know what i'm saying but don't use it to your intent to do one thing and then you turn around six or seven months later and do something else you know what i'm saying like come back to the full circle of wanting to look like a man and stuff like that because i'm gonna tell you 
Now, Prince, he had he did have an androgynous side to him. I give you that one. But Rick James, uh-uh. Rick James was a straight up uh woman lover. He might have dressed in tight ass clothing like cameo and you know, it was full leather, wasn't no pleather going on. But now nah, how Rich Rick Gang Rick James was just a uh uh what do you call it? A pothead. And, and and he loved his music. And he loved women. Trashy, classy. He didn't give a shit. Okay? He just wanted to ass it. Okay? He just wanted to ass it. But, um, yeah. And then you're trying to say you're an artist. But I'm trying to figure out what did you... I ain't see you play no instruments. I ain't hear you go up being out there singing. You know, a little diddly here or there. Uh, so... I mean, you said an artist. I mean, artist. I'm thinking music, talent. I'm thinking acting. I'm thinking singing, entertainment. Or that way. I ain't talking about walking down no aisle. I mean, no walking down no catwalk. You know that. What, I mean, what artist are we talking about? Fashion. You know, is that what you're talking about? Fashion. Because, uh, child, please. But I don't did my little due, due diligence and giving y'all my two cents, my dollars worth of opinionated stuff. What y'all think about this? What do y'all think about this family? Okay? Because I want y'all opinion. You know I thrive on y'all just like y'all thrive on me. I pick the subject topics. I bring them to you. Some of y'all probably say, what the hell is Deb doing over there? What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that Deb. But then I got my, you know, other ones that were like, yeah, let's get into this subject. I've been waiting for this and this, that, and the third. And then they were like, got some more family members like, I pass, I pass, I don't have shit to say, I don't have nothing to say, okay, so, I know I'm split in my family, we got a lot of different individualists, we got a lot of different people having their own mind, and they ain't with that fake food refractory fraudulent, okay, shit, so I know that, I know that, but I want to know what y'all feel anyway, okay? So get down in them comments. Tell me what you all thought. And don't forget to like and share our videos, okay? And subscribe to our channels. So let your your other family uh, members know. Go on and recruit, honey. Go on and recruit so we can talk about it. We can laugh about it. We can uh, get our key keys on. Get our opinionating, opinion make opinion made uh, displays out in the uh, comment section and hell who knows we might come up with some great dialogue but I don't care honey Prince may be gay he may be whatever but that's a fine looking brother I don't care what nobody said I don't care what nobody said but let me get on off of here <laughs> okay let me get on off of this too and move on to another story but I love y'all to the core I will check y'all out next video and y'all be blessed okay bye bye or should I say, see you later. I think that's best. I'll see y'all later.